I'm Yuki Washington with your evening digital news brief for Thursday, the 1st of April. It's opening day, and for the first time in more than a year, fans are back in the stands to watch the fight in Phil's. It's been 550 days since fans watched the Phillies at the bank. Thanks to some new COVID guidelines, more than 8,000 made their way through the gates for today's opener. The estate of Walter Wallace, who was shot and killed by police last year, has sued two Philadelphia police officers. The lawsuit seeks monetary damages for assault and battery and intentional infliction of emotional distress. It names two officers, Thomas Moons and Sean Matarazzo. They've been identified by the department as the officers involved in the fatal confrontation on October 26. The city is not named in the suit. The attorney for the family said that they do not feel that the city has done enough in the wake of the shooting. The family has called on the police department to, among other things, have officers go through additional training. The suspect in the shooting death of a boy in Oxford Circle has been arraigned. The suspect is Khalid Cooper Baldwin. The 19-year-old turned himself into police to face murder and weapons charges. Police say he gunned down 11-year-old Harley Balance Friday night while the boy was riding his motorized scooter on McKinley Street. A 14-year-old boy with Balance was also shot and is recovering. Police believe that boy was the intended target. SEPTA will reopen Somerset Station for service on Monday. SEPTA closed it for two weeks to address safety issues and clean up things like human waste and discarded needles. We're told SEPTA will add a new street-level police booth. Also, SEPTA says 60 security guards will be added along the Market Frankfurt line. Remember, you can always get the latest on these stories and more right here at CBSPhilly.com. That is the latest for the evening digital brief. I'm Yuki Washington.